must do find her. He told me. By any means necessary. He added. Whatever it takes. Cat and mouse, I know she's close. Everywhere I go, I see her in the corner of my eye, vanishing. Her curly, almost auburn hair, no stone unturned. Maybe she followed the same winds as Polly Woodside and anchored in Buenos Aires or Valparaiso. No, she wouldn't. Melbourne is her city. She's on the 86 tram. She's in the old Melbourne jail. She's in the block arcade having her tea. She's in the Majorca building. I'm here too. The martini suite. Her martini suite. No stone unturned. She's like a puzzle, the box of which I've lost. All the pieces, but no picture to solve towards. Abundant confusion. I couldn't even tell you how many calendars it's been since I began searching for her. You're my final hope, I was declared on the slip of legal pad that was slid under my door one night. Alongside it, a photo and a list of her favourite places in Melbourne. Tea rooms, 1892. Maybe today would be the day I'd take my usual seat, have my high tea and spot her across the way. Maybe today. Yet maybe that was my mistake all along, thinking of today and not noticing that she wasn't a matter of now or tomorrow or yesterday. She's been a matter of always. She set sail in 1885, served first in 1892, stood tall in 1929. She's always been here. I was born when she kissed me, died when she left me, and lived a few weeks while she loved me. Whoever, wherever, whenever she is, I can't stop until I found her. Edward Ned Kelly, 1880, in prison for the murder of multiple policemen, sentenced to be hanged by the neck until dead. Death mask molded from his lifeless corpse and body thrown into an unmarked grave on the jail grounds. Skull said to have been stolen in 1978, its whereabouts still unknown. Colin Campbell Ross, 1921, sentenced to be hanged by the neck until dead for crimes he did not commit. Upon hanging, he flailed in slow, remorseless suffocation for 20 full minutes before the life faded from his body. The new four-strand rope used for his execution was later ruled, quote, never to be used again, end quote. Frederick Bailey Deeming, 1892, hanged by the neck until dead, murder of his first wife, their four children, and his second wife. After his execution, it was reported that over 12,000 people cheered on the streets outside the jail walls. Why'd I come here? What does she have to do with these thugs and killers? Maybe more than I'm willing to admit. I'm burning myself alive, atom by atom of every thump of these concrete floors I sprint across the city in chase of her. It's beyond a matter of doing my job. It's long been beyond a matter of duty. I act only in petulance now, and I'm not afraid to admit it. In fact, it'll bring me much satisfaction to tell her so. I'm afraid I'll no longer be in need of your services. No. Why? It's been too long you've searched for her and yielded no results. Not a single breadcrumb, nothing. Find her, whatever it takes, by any means necessary. You lost it. Over, forget her. Is this seat taken? Is anyone sitting here? No, not sitting. Thank you.